Johnny Hendricks actually fought George St. Pierre and this happened standing, but St. Pierre got his arm out, so. Now, these Kimura, spinning under Kimuras, you can get them from half guard, you can get them from butterfly guard. I just tend to get them from butterfly guard, okay? One of the problems with half guard Kimuras and spinning under, and we'll go back to that spinning under Kimura, is if you Kimura a guy and he passes your guard, he can arm bar you, okay? So for example, let's say I tried this and I spin under and he grabs his leg and now I'm like this and he laid on me and I can't get out from under him. This is bad. And this, is, this could happen if you can't get the guy off of you. You gotta straighten your arms and go. So let's say this happens. This happens sometimes, especially from half guard or when he's trying to spin. So he's on his back and he goes for a Kimura and I grab the inside of my thigh. He starts spinning and look, I lay on him, okay? I lay on him and I hold my thigh. So if anybody ever Kimura's you and they're in cross side or you get past their legs, first thing is don't let this get behind you because they could maybe still finish this. Okay, so if he puts it, there's a, good, there's a chance I might get that still. But I need to grab the inside of my thigh or just hold my hand and put it kind of on my belt, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I like to hold his hip and kind of pull him up. I move this knee and I'm gonna step right here, spin, and then I can arm bar him. Okay, if you guys watch, it was a Matt Hughes, George St. Pierre, this, this is what happened. And then, then, George, then Matt Hughes was like, I know, I know jujitsu too, guys. And then he got hit by a train. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the story ends. They both did it to each other that same move, didn't they? Huh? They both did that same move, I think, right? I think it was a... Uh, I think Matt did it to George, and George did it back to Matt. Did he do it back? Yeah, uh, Matt, uh, George armbarred him, yeah. He armbarred him. Um, she fell. So, let's go back over this real quick. So what happened is, maybe he didn't spin under, but let's say he goes for a Kimura from half guard, and you pull your arm in, or you grab the inside of your thigh, okay? and you push his leg and get your knee out. Same scenario. I'm here, I keep my knee close, I post, I spin, and I go here and I work for an arm bar, okay? Those that have trouble with that spin, I want you to work a variation, I mean not a variation, another a Kimura counter that you can use from kind of any Kimura from the bottom. So let's just say he's here, he grabs a Kimura, and I see it. I'm gonna put it in close to my body, and I'm gonna grab my hand, and I'm gonna pull my, do this slow, I'll pull my hand through, and this is gonna Kimura his arm, his bottom arm, okay? So you can hit that from half guard, full guard, whatever he's on the bottom. I just pull my hand through, lean, and then I have his, his arm here, okay? Um, these are, a couple scenarios where where this 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 movement happens a lot um johnny hendrix actually fought george st pierre and this happened standing but st pierre got his arm out so what happened is in this scenario there is george st pierre okay and then i'm johnny hendrix so the, the resemblance is you know what i mean i would be more i look more like johnny hendrix mm -hmm. and then so he was going for it and I don't know if Johnny Hendricks knew what he was doing or he's just super strong. Hendricks goes like this. And I thought St. Pierre's arm was gonna break off. And then St. Pierre just grew more ligaments and pulled his arm out and then they kept fighting the St. Pierre one. But you can do that standing. If a guy come over to stand, just rip your arm out, boom. And if you go hard, this kind of will break his shoulder, okay? So one more time, boom, 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 bang. Okay, all right, let's work this, one, two, three.